Well, if you've driven through Uptown Minneapolis lately, you have probably noticed this. A lot of buildings tagged with graffiti. Business owners will pay thousands of dollars to clean it up, only to sometimes find it's been tagged again the next night. It is just one example of a long list of things they've been dealing with, in addition to weeks of unrest and concerns about their safety. Jennifer Hoff is live with how the city is handling this. Jennifer? The city's public works department even mailing out some enforcement letters to business owners, giving at least one of them on Lindale just a week to clean up the graffiti at her building or the city said they'd come in and do it itself. But still, either way, that business owner would be out thousands of dollars. The uptown area is a popular commercial district that has seen its share of unrest in the last year. Business owners say with it, comes graffiti so constant the Lynn Hall's Annie Spaeth calls it unmanageable. I would imagine it's in the thousands of dollars that we've now had to spend. The cleanup costs at the restaurant rarely covered by insurance add up the damage keeping Jeff Essig's crew particularly busy. These areas have been the worst but we've seen it on the suburbs you know the outskirts of towns uh, as far out as, as St. Bonnie Minnesota. Spaeth says what's more frustrating is an enforcement letter she got from the Minneapolis Public Works, giving her eight days to clean up the graffiti or city crews will do it and bill her. We found out the city just suspended that practice last week, but only for a specific area that doesn't include space building. So she confronted the agency's director. And I said, well, what are you doing to help us as business owners? I don't see much of a police presence anymore. Is this clearly happening overnight? You know, who's coming to help us? Spaeth and other business owners now planning their next steps in a meeting this week, hoping to uphold Uptown's reputation as a beloved urban oasis. At some point you realize that if the Calvary isn't coming, you have to form your own. We also found out tonight that business owners can contact the graffiti hotline if you're at all worried that you don't think you're going to meet that cleanup deadline. We also know that the city is offering free cleaning solution at any Minneapolis fire station. Back to you.